guys welcome back to my channel so back with another wig from Eunice this one is another glueless wig but this one is an upgraded one so this is the most recent one that they have so it's still pre-plucked still pre-bleached still comes with the baby hair still comes with the lace cut and all of that but the lace is a 7 by 5 now so what that means is you get a little bit more space so you don't just have that weird little square in the front like if the wind blows back then you see all up under your wig this one goes down a little further. It doesn't go completely to your ear, but it goes down a little bit further on the sides. And it has the bye-bye knots, which are the really thin knots. If you can see how tiny these knots are, y'all, like how thin these strands are. Um, it has that going around the entire front. So this is supposed to be 100% beginner friendly. And because of that, they asked me to do as little manipulation as possible. So that is what I'm going to do. So starting off, I'm just adding a little bit of my foundation powder to the lace just to give it a little bit of color. Then I'm going to put the unit on, add some water and some mousse to it. So I use the Miel Organics Mousse. And then I'm going to add a little bit of that mousse to the lace just to set it in place and then tie it down. And then we'll go from there. So not going to lie, this being fresh out, like literally all I did was put foundation on the lace. And this is how it looks. It looks so freaking good for that. Um, so I am going to add a little bit of mousse again to the lace just to melt it down and get rid of that little ashiness. It's not going to make it stuck, but it is going to help it like blend down a little bit. Um, but I'm going to tie it down after I do that. I used my Dyson Multi Styler, the diffuser attachment, to go ahead and diffuse the hair and give it some volume and to make it dry fast. And then I decided to add some face framing layers to the front. I didn't do the whole unit, literally just the front and a little bit on the sides. And then I'm going to go in with my pressing comb and get the parting area nice and flat. So after letting it sit, I can go ahead and remove the band and you can see the baby hairs look crazy, but that's okay because I was going to fix them anyway. So they're a little long for me, so I'm going to take the scissors and cut them. Not too much because these actually look better than the first go round of the Bye Bye Knots wig. I feel like it was so much baby hair and they were way longer than this. So these are a little thinner and they're not as long, but I still cut them. And then I'm taking a little bit of a mousse and I'm going to swoop them and push a little back. Like I didn't push a lot back, just a few pieces back to give it a more thin look. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on both sides.
guys know that I would normally use my perfect line in my parting area, but we are going fresh out of the box beginner friendly. So I'm just taking a little bit of my concealer. This is the Fenty in 385, I believe. And I'm just going to go over the parting area just to kind of blend that down, get it to look more like scalp and to camouflage my wig cap that's underneath because I didn't do the ball cap method because that's for sure not beginner friendly. Um, and I didn't use my perfect line, but this is how it came out. You guys, it looks so freaking good for this to be literally fresh out of the box. All I did was add a little bit of foundation and then cut the baby hairs and tie it down with mousse. And this is how it came out. Wigs have come such a long way, y'all. When I'm telling you, I would have never guessed that this is where we would be. Um, but yeah, I have everything down below in the description box. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. And I was going out after this, so I hit it with a little bit of holding spray, literally just in the front by the parting area, and this is how it looked. I just wanted to make sure it didn't move because I did not put my weight grip on. Fashion,